welcome to our newest podcast, to our second episode, as my mother reminded me a few minutes ago, <laughs> our second episode of Hurley's Hand Dyed Podcast. I am Amber, and I am Donna, and this is my house we're filming in this time. We're in Idaho. We're in Idaho. I drove to Idaho this time so that we could take turns doing yes. the filming. We are taking turns. Um, so if this is your first time watching, welcome and thank you. I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up at the end. I hope you still like it at the end. And I you hope should. you subscribe. Press yes. the subscribe. Pick we're, the big red subscribe button. It's on one of these sides or below us. Right. And we're uh, shooting for 250 to begin with. All right, when we get 250 subscribers, we will be giving something away. <laughs> and you don't, don't want to miss it. So tell your friends. Right. You want to hit 250. So. And the only, the only, um, Way to be requirement a to get entered is to be a subscriber and that is the only way you can get entered and you almost have to be a subscriber that we can see right oh well don't worry about that okay we're yeah. not gonna worry about that <laughs> we'll, we'll see we'll we'll do random number generator and pick a subscriber okay right. just so you guys know so um, when we hit 250 we'll announce what our giveaway is at that podcast and then our next podcast after that we will announce the winner of the giveaway Okay, just so you know how it's gonna go. Okay, so let's talk about, first of all, my shop oh. is Crystal Skies Hand Dyed at Etsy. And dot Etsy.com. Dot Etsy.com. And my uh, Pinterest is, what are you on Pinterest? I'm still, are you Crystal, Crystal Skies Hand Sky. Dyed or just Crystal Sky? Crystal Sky, I think, something like that. But Pinterest is no fun anyway. And <laughs> uh, the other one, Ravelry. I'm Crystal Skies Yarn. And, and then on Instagram, Instagram, I'm Crystal Skies Hand Dye. So Crystal Sky. And we will put it, there's a button down below that says details. It says read more. Or read It'll more. It'll say read and, more and we'll have in the description. Everything. So we'll have all of this information in the description of our shops and my husband's shop. Um, my shop is Amber's Yarn Shop. Etsy.com. Um, and I'm also on Instagram at Amber's Yarn Shop. That's my my handle on Instagram. And let's Are see. Are you on Ravelry? I'm not on, well, I am, but I'm not. Yeah, that's how I, I am. I don't do I'm, anything on my I'm Ravelry. Not. And we're gonna try um, to start doing a little more on Ravelry. Yeah, because I have an old of account, and so I will create a new one yeah. with my information. Because we'd like to start shop. some threads. I mean, when mm -hmm. we start doing more drawings, that's We'll have a thread there so that you can comment and things mm -hmm. like that. But extra entries and stuff. That's extra. That's but we're not future. there yet. No, we're brand we're still, new. We're still starting this up. <laughs> um, so we've been both been dyeing yarn for about a year. If you're new here, you don't know that yet. So, um, And we both have our hand dyed shops. And we both also have handmade shops as well. We'll link those as an extra thing in the description. But this is all about, we need to let the cat in. Um, this is all about our yarn shops. I'm gonna let my cat, my children in the room. Because otherwise you guys are gonna hear them scratching the whole time. I know, I know. They think we're having a party without them in here. Yeah, we shut the door because right outside of this door is where the um, the furnace unit is. And since the air is on, it's kind of noisy. It's a little but loud. Not but too bad, so but anyway. Katya will be a good kitty. Molly will too. Yep, they're both in. If you can hear them talking, they say hi. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so. Um, let's talk about where we are because we talked about how we're in Idaho. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know last week was a big week for me. Um, we uh, had been kicked out of our house. Well, we were being kicked out because they wanted to sell our house and we had to find a new place. We found a new place a week ago Saturday. We signed on it Monday. We moved all last week and we finished moving out and cleaning our old place on Friday. So in five days we painted and moved and cleaned. And so it's been a, a big week. But the new place is bigger, which is nice, and we have air conditioning, and we have, we're on half an acre, which is kind of cool, even though we won't use it for, like, animals or anything. <laughs> but Just we moved my garden. Made. We yep. moved my garden. If you follow me on, on uh, Instagram, you probably saw me post a picture of my tomato. Um, it survived the move, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so this is our new house. This is our, this is I'm, not my this, craft room. But this is a spare bedroom. But this bedroom. is where we're filming today. It'll probably be in my craft room next time we film here. Um, so yeah, so that's what's new in my life. And, and then and what's mom. new in my life is, if you watched our first broadcast, you saw that I had my hair pulled back, but when I turned around, my hair went down to my waist. And I went in and I told her to cut it, shoulder length. 
And this is how short she cut it. But my our hair grows fast, so it'll grow longer. But it kind of reminds me of the Egyptian princess look. <laughs> so anyway, and, but now you can see my streaks, my little streaks and that I have, hair, how and thick my thick hair, hair is. is and I always thought my kids got their little curliness in the back on the nape of their neck from their dad, but no, I have it. So that's why my hair poofs out in the back. That's the reason why the haircut is so short. Yes. To make a long story short, their mistakes were made. Yes, and <laughs> I kept trying to correct it. So yes. this is what we have, but I'm, I'm happy with it. It only takes a few minutes to hair dry now, not 20 minutes, yeah. so that's nice too. So anyway, that's what's new in my life. Nothing okay. else. Now what's new in our shops? Oh, yes. Our okay. Shops. Do you want me to go first or do yeah, you want to go, go, first? go first? Okay, what's new in my shops? I only have two things right now because we moved so fast. Um, I had done dyeing. I'm not going to talk about that other thing until later with our coming attractions. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so in dyeing, I did do, I did dye two new yarns right before we found out we were going to have to move. Um, so I have them here. They're, they're a new special way I'm doing it. It was, it was an experiment. Um, and I'm hoping to do a whole line of dye, of yarns dyed like this. So let me show you. They're called Alora and Aurora. Okay, so like Aurora Borealis and Alora like the princess in Willow. Okay, this is, this is Aurora. And if you can see, I still have the hook on it. It is basically a gradient dip dye with a couple different colors. So this one is like a sour apple color and black and the, the white. And then Allura is an orangey color. And I did the exact same thing. I actually don't, I don't need to say the name of the dye color, but no, it turned out like a peach, kind of like a peachish orange. And this and is almost, even she, though she used black, this, because of the orange being in there, it almost looks like a pretty brownish You can color. kind of see through the peachish color. It actually turned it, out really cool. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah and so yeah. these will be listed hopefully this evening. Um, right. Hopefully I can find the time to take pictures of them now. Yeah. And get them listed this evening. But those are what's new in my shop right now. Not, um, I don't really have anything else new in my shop. I have coming attractions, but we'll right. talk about those later. Well, I have a couple new things. Um, well, they're a couple weeks old, but I didn't show them last time. So um, we all know Halloween and Christmas will be here before we know it. So what I did is I did some mini packs, and this is my Halloween mini pack. It has the orange, uh, purple, green, and um, black in it. A bit closer so they can see it better. There we go. And then I did it, this is, um, that's the figurine, and I also did it in worsted. So if you're the kind of knitter or crocheter that likes to make striped hats and use your own striping, this would be great. It'll make wonderful Halloween socks mm -hmm. uh, and all that stuff. And then, I did it in a Christmas one for the Christmas. And for the Christmas one, I did green, silver, red, and gold. Because I thought to me that reminds me of Christmas trees and stuff. And I, I not only did it in the worsted, but I did it in all my fingerings except for the alpaca. I didn't do it in an alpaca. And if you did want it in alpaca, just request it and I'll make you a packa. So that right now is all that's kind of new in my shop. And we're not talking about things I, to come I yet, have right? one. No, I have one more new thing I forgot to talk about. Oh, yes. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you helped me name this yarn. I did a live video and I asked for name suggestions, but this is my Coachella. This is a new color and it's going to be an exclusive color to my shop. Right now I only have it available in Worsted, but I will have some more available in Fingering. Um, but it's a pretty pretty purple it's well it's, it's pink and blue and then they blended to make some purples in there too but it's a nice vibrant color this one is in worsted did I already say that okay mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in worsted and this is a super wash worsted so I have this available right now and I will get some fingerings of this available in sure. this next week hopefully right. um so yeah so that's another what's new in my shop that is a really pretty one that I wanted to show you and the black one should I show them the black one too because yeah. I did this on the same day oh, okay that's why I did the same day I can't remember the name of the she doesn't know what she I don't named it. What I called just it. look for the black, and it's right next to the Coachella on her side. <laughs> and this one is just the black and blue. And I actually had fingering of this as well at the Coachella, but those ones sold right sold right away. So I have this one left in worsted. And if you want it in fingering, let me know. I can reproduce it, but it is a really pretty black and turquoise and white. And okay, that's that's that for what's new in our shops. Okay, we have lists. 
<laughs> oh, and Dave's shop. Talk about oh, Dave's no. Shop. We're, Ooh, we we mentioned her husband's shop. He's a woodworker and he does pins and he just started a line of crochet hooks. Mm -hmm. And if you watched the last one, you know we talked about the pre-order. The pre-order is up and running. We've had a couple of pre-orders so far. Um, but I don't want to show. Well, I, what am I doing now as part of this? So I'll show oh, what I'm yes. doing. So I'm actually using his crochet hook that he made um, with what I'm doing now with some of my mom's yarn. I took the hat apart and we started with a smaller hook. Yeah, she it showed it last time and now it's And it looks better. Bit. You can see it's it's a tighter weave now. Um, but this is the crochet hook and actually it's interchangeable hooks. So right now with the first 10 pre-orders, what we're doing is you actually get two different handles. One with the um, one with the clip and one without the clip. So it would look like that. Uh, and that is only for the first 10 pre-orders. And we also found out just this just week, yesterday, just yesterday. <laughs> that we can actually do um, individual hooks. So if you have an, a specific size, like if you're interested in these, but you don't want to use the wide range of like C to yeah, like G I or I only use, use J and H, mm -hmm. so all the rest would be wasted to me. We can do. We will. We, we will have some out. listings mm -hmm. of um, individual. <laughs> Sorry, she's talking of individual sized hooks for you as well. So, so you're, they're going to offer where you can order the handle with the choice of whatever hooks they have. Mm -hmm. But they'll always also have that you can order like I would order like a G hook with the handle and then maybe an H hook. Mm -hmm. You don't have to order a new handle each time. Every time. Yeah. We'll so have and it, so you it, can add it'll them. make it nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so for everybody. So, yeah. so yeah. that's that's new too. So that's, yeah, that's, that's new too. That's new in her shop. Okay, I mean so in his shop. In his shop. In the shop. And the and I showed what am I doing? You want to show what you're doing? Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> Everybody knows. Uh, well, first of all, I was working on last week. Oh, well, I guess I'm not showing that. Let it go. Oh. Anyway, I I decided to start a scarf, and here's what it's looking like so far. And this is done with my Hawaiian dream. Now, if you have looked in my shop, you'll see my Hawaiian dream. And this is what it looks like, Molly, stop. close to this, in the ski. Um, this is my fingering, and this is how pretty it is. They're stop. all a little different. I'm sorry. She was, no, she was moving the She's the moving the iPod, the yeah. tripod. Anyway, that's what it looks like in the ski. And then I, of course, wind it up, and this is what it looks like in the ball. So um, this may end up being, we discussed it, I may end up being one of our prizes. Yeah. One of my scarves in the Hawaiian dream. Mm -hmm. So that's that's my work in progress right now. My what am I doing? And so that's it. We don't have a lot. We don't <laughs> have a lot. We've right been now. busy this last week. And so. Mary Poppins opens tomorrow night. Yes. Or, yeah, no, it's Thursday, night. isn't it? Okay, it's tomorrow night, not tonight. <laughs> I got scared for a second. I was thinking it was Friday. So it opens tomorrow night, so we've been doing that too. And last night, what time did we get home, Mom? Eleven thirty eight. Yep. And our rehearsal was supposed to go till ten, so Yes happy and my husband had to go to work at 7 30 this morning so, so yeah. we're a little tired in this household <laughs> too um so coming attractions do you want to do your coming attractions first or do you want me to do mine first coming attractions oh do you use first oh well okay i was saying you talked about your holiday colors yeah but that's in your, not what's all. doing your shop yeah but that's okay okay ahead, okay okay. <laughs> okay so oh i wanted to show something else that's new i want to show my new business card oh yes this is for what's I new. I designed business cards with Vistaprint. Finally! Instead of printing off my own. So this is my design. I get really close so you guys see. Isn't that cute? I used two pictures of Coachella and my other new one. <laughs> I got really fast then, didn't you? Mm -hmm. It came in about four days. It yeah. came in about four days. It came right before we moved. I think I ordered them on Monday and I got them on Friday. So yeah, so those are my new business cards. So. Before I lose this card, because it's sitting over here on my pile of stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so, coming attractions for my shop. And I'm sorry, I'm I feel like I'm talking really, really fast. fast. We are. It's the, the adrenaline of doing this, really. <sighs> okay, so coming attractions for my shop. Um, I have had a request for a worsted club. And I am going to start a worsted club. I'm actually going to probably do a worsted and a fingering. At Are you going to use time. the same theme? Yes. Okay. I will be using the same theme. That's why theme. she doesn't have to. So I <laughs> think of two different ones. I know. Yes. Because this is my first time I'm doing a club. So my theme is the Very Scary Club. Now, 
Let me tell you why it's the very scary club. Now, I'm obviously not going to send you scary colors, but what are scary colors? I am a horror movie buff. I've been watching scary movies since I was eight, seven, six, little, little, and little, reading and she's reading, been reading scary books since she was about twelve. The big I started, books. I started reading Stephen King when I was about nine. Yeah. She's in just, like second and third grade. Yeah, we're just a very avid reader family. We like to read and I like scary stuff, so I'm going to be doing my club. My theme is based on scary movies and scary books. So um, the colors will be based on something from like Stephen King book, Dean Koontz book, scary movie, something like that to uh, to inspire me. Okay, so I will be doing a... a and, and, and a three month and she'll offer one and month. And a one month, yep. So... If you only want to try one month, you can get the one month. But you see my colors. I'm, I've got really good colors, so you're going to want to do the three months. <laughs> right. You don't want to miss out because That's they will right. be exclusive. They will not be available outside of my club. Right. So um, I will be um, setting it up for pre-order. I'm probably going to set it up for pre-order around the end of August and do pre-orders until the 15th of September. I do mine until the 26th. Well, but you do your. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ship mine before yours. Oh, okay. I'm gonna ship mine ship mine. So just so you know, I'll be setting it up probably in about two weeks. Okay. I'll be setting up those pre-orders to run through the 15th of September. And she'll keep reminding you on Instagram. I will, like I do. I will. I will. So that's that's my new thing. I'm gonna be doing a club. Okay, and if you all follow me on Instagram or have looked at mine, I have several clubs. And one of my clubs is the Fairy Glimmer Club, and I did it for. Um, July, August, and September. I did a three month and then you could do a single month. Well, starting in for October, November, December, it's going to be the Fairy Glimmer Club, but it's going to be holiday related. So I'm going to try to do colors that will be holiday because I figured even the December one, since I ship out on the 1st, you will have it by the 5th. That should give you plenty of time. It's done in a sock glimmer, so um, you'll be able to fingering glimmer. You'll be able to knit up your socks. So those would be colors. And then I also offer a worsted club, a regular sock fingering club, and an MCN. If any of you like the merino cashmere uh, nylon blend, I have a club for that. And um, what I do is the other clubs all have the worsted, MCN, and regular club all have the same colorway. When I make those up, I make them up. But the Fairy Glimmer Club's colorway is always different. So if you've missed out, let me tell you, you've missed out on some good ones I've mm -hmm. had. Um, Fairy Court was last month, and it was pink and lavenders and some blues. And then the first one was called Water Lily Fairies, and it had the blues and greens and purple. So I don't know what I'm doing for the third month, <laughs> September, <laughs> but it'll, it'll, it's always be fun. I never think of it till a couple days before. So, but anyway, that's our... What's new? That's our what's coming. Oh, what's coming, coming attractions. Right, coming attractions. And then also in my shop, starting in September, when I get back, I'm going to do some um, colorways that will be just for Halloween colorways, different Halloween colorways, and then I'm going to do some of my Christmas colorways will be back up. I only put those up before Christmas and Halloween. So those will be back. If you saw my shop last year, um, I only make a couple of each colorway. And so I try, because I don't want to be stuck with red and greens after Christmas. So I try to do that before. And so December 1st, I won't be dying any more of the, the Christmas. The Christmas ones. And after, um, what, October 15th? No. No more Halloween? Or? Yeah, no more Halloween. So yeah. September and October, if you want Halloween colors. And, and there'll be different colorways. they will just be fun. Different scary themes. Yeah. Not horror things. Yeah, not horror scary. things. We think a little different. I myself do. like sci-fi. I'm a sci-fi buff, buff. So I like the sci-fi channel. That's my favorite yeah. channel. I may do a Star Trek one. If any of that you would, would be, be cool. interested in a Star Trek <sighs> club, let me know. Text me. Put oh, comments I'm down below. Of names and ideas for yeah. your colors for you if you do that. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, because there's a lot of Star Trek out there. Wouldn't that be fun? Call one red shirt. <laughs> because the red shirt always dies. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. Anyway, so okay. that's what's coming up. So our next thing is opening stuff. Should I do my my little thing first? Yes, do your okay. little thing first. So, uh oh, I dropped the scissors. Excuse me for a <laughs> we second. We need our scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna keep talking even though I'm on the side. 
forgot to talk about these last time. Last time, and we were going to. Um, so I make nitty knotties. If you don't know what a nitty knotty is, before I open it, I'll tell you what a nitty knotty is. Um, it is basically I use PVC. Um, you, they make them with wood. They make them with other materials. Um, but you use it to wind a hank. Of and if knot. you've ever got cascade yarn or some of the yarn that comes in the like donut mm -hmm. and, and you want to have it in a hank so that you can wind it into a cake mm -hmm. then you need a knitting or even like the red heart yarn oh, and those heart? long tubes you can put those in a hank first before you put them in a cake if you want them in a right cake. right um so. yeah so but anyway so, so this that's what a nitty knotty is <laughs> now if you order a nitty knotty for me this is what it'll come in it comes a priority now <laughs> I didn't ship this to myself just to open and it. And this is one of the few things, I think the only thing in your shop that, that I charge we don't shipping do on. free shipping on. Because we have to ship it priority. And she, it weighs too much. Yeah, and she only charges $10 for it. So, so you do have to pay shipping. So when you get a package from me, you get one of these bad boys with a handmade stitch marker on it. And this has, this is peppermint tea in it. Um, there's lots of different teas now that you get. And this is how it comes unassembled, which is good if you're watching this if you've never assembled one, because I put the pieces in here for you to assemble it. So you put a T on each end. And you want to turn them perpendicular to each other. You don't want them in the same direction. So you can see through this hole, but you can't see through this hole. But if you turn this one, you can't see through that hole. The easiest way to describe <laughs> right. perpendicular. Okay, and then it comes with four. Apparently it came with some Katya hair on it too. Um, four ends. Stay right here. Okay. Don't, Are you going to get some yarn so yes, I can show I how it works? Yes, I can show how to make it. I saw okay. one right out here. Okay. Now, I do sell them in two different lengths. Um, I sell, this is the one foot length, and I sell it with a coupler to make it two feet long as well um, if you want to do self-striping yarn. So, we have yarn coming, but this is, this is what it looks like to start with, so... What did you see? The yarn see? that you bought, the little... Oh, we oh, can use one of mine. It's in my here. bedroom. The little cotton one? Yes. It's little... in my bedroom. Oh, well. All the way on the other side of the house. Anyway. So basically... <laughs> we don't I know you missed me, but I'm you, back. <laughs> you, you hold a, a strand right here, and then you go up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down until you're done, and then you can tie it off. And then to take it off, you pop one off, and take it, it out, and it drops off. And you can put that back on. And then it folds up. What? <laughs> You're scaring my cats. I know it. <laughs> she, she's looking for something else. I want you to show them. Cause I, it's confusing the first time or two. It was confusing for me. The first okay. time so, someone did it. So do you have an end for me? Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Because it almost matches. Hmm. <laughs> See, this is, this is when you're... Knitting with some of these other... You can never find the middle. You never can find the middle. That's why I take most of these things, and I right away... She cakes them at I home. I cake them. Okay, there's okay. the end. Okay. So, so you this take is it, how you do. And you you always want to hold on to a strand like that, okay? And then you can go up and down and up. Mm -hmm. I'm holding it wrong. Hold on. There. there we go. Up and down and up and down. And don't hit yourself in the face. And up and down. Oh, usually you'll have it over here. Yeah, somewhere. and up and down. You just keep doing this back and forth. And you get good at it. Yeah, I'm so fast. And you want to make sure when you do it that you line these up next to each other. You don't overlap them. You want them to line up in a straight line as you're doing and it. And if it gets too bad, you can you push them. them in. Yep. But that makes it easier at the end. You can um, weave through to tie it off. Okay. <laughs> So that's basically my knitting knotty, and I do charge a good price. I charge ten for the one foot length. For the two foot length, I think I have it for fifteen. Right, and you'll get another piece, and you'll get another. Um, you get a coupler. A coupler. You just get a coupler in the middle to attach them together. And if you like to do, and if you like to do, it pops a, off like that. The self striping, which I have done, I use the longer length, mm -hmm. and then I I have a nice long skein. Uh, move to work away, with. kitty. Move away. I <laughs> see. <laughs> She's like, oh. Yarn. yarn. <laughs> the cats like yarn. Okay. Okay, so that is what you had in your what package. What I had in my package, and I don't know what's in your packages. No, these are all surprises. They're all surprises. I need the scissors. Oh, you need the scissors. Okay. okay. I'm repeating you, aren't I? 
This is from Caitlin Simux. Um, when I open it, oh, I've already opened this part. Oh, well, um, I will tell you the name of her her shop. shop. But um, I got these for me and Amber, and I'll explain this way what I got. <gasps> Amber got the little one. Amber loves elephants, and she did not she have she did not have the bigger one, and so I got me this one. <gasps> and they are lined. Oh, and the name you? of her shop is Rose Fiber Arts. Oh, that's so cute. Rose Fiber Arts. And you need to check her out. She is so very reasonable price. A woman after our own heart. If you've noticed, on, on we are very reasonably priced in mm -hmm. our yarn. We try to keep it where the average person can buy it. Mm -hmm. And not feel like they're investing $80 and $100 in a sweater. You know? Mm -hmm. Where so, it's, it's, it's reasonable for you, but we still turn a profit. Yes. So, and these because are we nice, need to make money. We these, like to die, but we need to make money. These have a nice... Yours does too. It has, it has a nice, a nice gray liner I thought and you a could flat put, bottom. I, you could probably even put one little... Like if I was making my dish... Cloth, that little thing would yeah, fit in it. Would fit in but it. this is more of the size. That's a small. This is would be good for tools for this is, crochet hooks, yes, scissors, all, your all that over stuff. Mm -hmm. And then this is the medium. And I did my skein will fit in it. It's almost the same size as my other ones that Which I had are gotten here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. But anyway, I just loved this material. It's and so cute. Uh, I asked her if she had any more elephant and could make me a bigger one. She said. She had that and ran out of it, and she's been looking all over oh, to try yeah, and find so some cute. more elephant material. Oh my goodness, so. there's so much elephant glands. Yeah, but a lot there's of it's a lot of a baby flannel. stuff. Yeah, or baby stuff. Yeah. So that well, is my you, first Mom. one. You are so welcome. But anyway, I, I was really, you got to check That's it out. Awesome. She really is I'll very, very too. reasonable. Okay, then the next thing I got... Now I do need the scissors on this one. Okay. This is a little one. A little that package. It is a little one. It looks like they made their own envelope. Uh-huh. Yeah, isn't it cute? Out of like cardstock. Yeah. That's cool. And this is, her name is Barbara Labosco. And I will tell you the name of her shop in 16 <laughs> seconds. Watch the trash in this house. My cats will eat it. <laughs> I'm taking it. Cute little packaging. And then you gotta show them that's upside down. You gotta show them how cute that is. Look at the, the right. Move and this is right. like a, a, what do you call it? Almost a. It's like a styrofoam. A styrofoam, like a styrofoam sheet. But real thin, yes. So that's. Do you need scissors again? I don't think so. But maybe oh, she, oh, she taped the sides. Tape it. Yeah. She taped the sides. You might just need to slice the tape. Yep. That's cute that she did that. Okay. And the name of her shop is. All about the buttons. Okay? All about the buttons. I see what that one is. And that's what I got, Amber. Oh. It is, it, these are tape look measures. It. It's, look, it's uh, Horton, here's a who. And then she sent I me a button. It looks like. <laughs> but they have a button. You should have a button on it, I think, doesn't it? I'm going to open it up and look. There's yes. a button on the packaging. Yes. There. Yeah, that's fine, too. Anyway, when I saw this, yeah, I'm, oh, it might have a little sheep on the end. What does yours have? A, a little, little star. star. Oh, and look at that elephant, too. Yep. Oh, so cute. And then mine's this one. And this one I had to have. Can you see the sheep? Can you see the cute little sheep? See, mine has buttons. Does oh. yours? Mm -mm. Oh. Anyway, I saw that one. It, Amber's an elephant person, so I had to get that. I am. That. i got to put this and inside that bag. The first thing I saw was this. And the reason I had to get this is because in my shop, I sell pillowcases. Is and it's the same material. Same material. Same awesome. little fluffy sheep. So if you've not gone and looked at my pillowcases, I brought them all. I have it in the gold, and then I have it in the silver, if you're a silver person. And then I have the cute little sheep with the flowers. <laughs> and then if you like alpacas or llamas, I have I the cute seen little that you had those ones. Those are cute. packaging. So that's, that's my what's new. Now, I figured... It doesn't, we don't have to buy from shops online. All so the time. I, all the time. So I got Amber and me something. That I don't know what it that is. That she doesn't know what it is. I got these at Walmart. So if any of you have a okay. Walmart, who doesn't have a Walmart, right? Well, some people don't. <laughs> if you live in a very rural place. So I got Amber and I each one of these. 
their little night shirt oh, with the sheep okay, all over it. Okay, move to the right a little. There you go. Oh my goodness, those Isn't are cute. cute. So I got Thank Amber you. one. And I got me one. And I just thought these Yay. were the darlingest things. They're so cute. And I have another one I got last year in a green, but the sheep are different. But I thought, oh, anybody that loves knitting and stuff, this is a this perfect is gift for them. Okay. Awesome. Okay, and then... The day more? before I left, got more? I went to <laughs> Big Lot, and I saw these, and I just couldn't leave them. So I got Amber and I each one of these. Oops, got the price tag on it. Oh. These are lemonades. What? <laughs> these are lemonades, but they have the cutest little cow on them. Isn't that cute? <laughs> They're called Groovy Cow. And this one is the uh, strawberry lemonade. And then I got her a, um, oh, this is oh, strawberry, they're strawberry lemonade. And a raspberry lemonade. <laughs> and you got stickers so everywhere. So you guys have a big lot. Oh, that's cute. And it only takes, it's a pre-made mix, and it only takes two tablespoons per, per eight yeah, ounces of water. water. That's cute. But aren't they just adorable? And I thought, I'm going to keep the jar after. And I'm yeah. going to use it for like my pennies and quarters and stuff. Just yeah. loose change. Because it's so you, darn cute. They're very cute. Okay, that's Pretty all cute my... Being all look fancy. what I bought. <laughs> all right. Now Amber has to buy next time. Okay. <laughs> all right, before we move on to our educational moment, we wanted to show something that we have that is a completed project that Mom has done. Well, two completed projects, actually. Two completed projects. Um, a couple years ago and these have been completed a while because but we just wanted to be able to show you some finished projects I did some blankets for I did smaller blankets what we call lap blankets mm -hmm. for all my children and this is the one I did for Amber it is it's pretty good size it fits over the lap but I did it in a peach and a brown kind of a tan and a white mm -hmm. an off-white and then this one I did for Dave because he's a guy and, and I the, did the brown is variegated on this one. Yeah, and the brown's a variegated. It's variegated with, with peaches in it, which is why right. I was chosen. And then this one is the brown and the tan, the lighter tan, and then a variegated. And it even has the turquoise in it. Mm -hmm. So just kind of, um, and I made all my kids one. I made like 15 of these or 20. Mm -hmm. So, so this, it was a project. This idea project. came after the scrap gun. Yes. The scrap gun inspired you to do these, didn't it? Uh, who knows? Kind of, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. So those so, are those. These are they. So yes. now our educational moment. So we're going to start trying to do an educational moment. When we first started dyeing yarn, we like didn't all know a lot. Of, no, we didn't know a lot. And we were like probably all of you. We bought our yarn from like Joann's, Robert's Crafts. I mean, we bought the acrylics. And I mean, we bought what was on sale. Well, what was ever on sale, what we had a coupon for. And so we had never worked with really real wool. You know, we had worked with, even the wool ease that you get at Joann's only has like 20% wool. It's like it's 20 like wool and 80% acrylic. Acrylic. So, you know, we had, and I'm older, so when I would think about wool yarn, I think about the type that's itchy, the itchy type. When I had a wool sweater because I was in pep club in high school and it was the white and you had to wear a long sleeve shirt with a collar under it because it itched so bad. And then once a month, my mother would send all our, our wool stuff to the cleaners because you couldn't wash it. Well, yarn has come a long way since then. And now we have the superwash, which is wonderful. But um, we're going to talk about today about some of the differences in the fingering. We have a couple fingering that are both fingering, and they are both 75 merino, 25 nylon. But they are totally different. This is the 7525 Marengo that we call our soft and sturdy. No, that's not soft and sturdy. This I one mean, is super soft. Super soft. Our super soft. <laughs> and it, you will, if you get it this, is super it's soft. super soft. It is and so it, soft. It doesn't feel like wool anymore. It's not scratchy. It's just nice and nice and soft. And this is this what is so pretty. most of the dyers out there use. Mm -hmm. uh, this is their fingering. Well, then they're also um, have this, this is 7525, it's what we call soft and sturdy, and it is a high twist, so it is really, move your hands this way a little bit there. Yeah, it is a higher twist, it's really, really twisted tight, 
So you don't get the the fluffiness. The, as the much. fluffy, fluffy, and they call it a, it's like a halo on it on the oven because it's a higher twist. So if you have little children that you make socks for, or people like me that walk around in my socks in the house all the time, the soft and sturdy is really good for that because it it washes up nice and it doesn't you'll never have the fuzzing up of it. Plus, if you make shawls, it hangs different. Mm -hmm. This hang, they just hang different. And unless you've done with both, you can't really, it's hard to tell, but this mm -hmm. hangs more. Because it's, it hangs heavier. Heavier, because it's this tighter, is a lot twist. lighter. And this is lighter. Yeah. So that's what all, Well, you can see too how they're twisted the up. The difference in the size of the hangs. So I twist and yet they the both have height. 462 yards, 100 grams. Yep. So they both so. will knit up the same. Mm -hmm. Depending on you know what crochet hook you use. And by the way, I love this color too. I'm surprised no one, one has bought it yet. Uh, this is oh, what did I call this one? I can't remember. It's with persimmon. Oh, I can't remember what yeah. I called it, but, but I anyway, love it. It's, it's one of my favorite. Pretty orange, but you love orange. I do love know? orange, and I love red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do a lot. And you're wearing red. purple. And I'm wearing purple. I wasn't a purple person for a long, 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 long time. I liked reds and blues, but I branched out, stepped out of my. <laughs> my zone and got it uh, purple but anyway so that's our that's 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 it thank you yeah thanks for watching that's us that's kind of it i don't know how long this video has been that one is only five minutes oh because <laughs> we came back we had to cut but anyway we're going to try to film again in a couple weeks maybe on the labor day weekend we'll try and get together uh if it's still nice i'll probably drive here to idaho again and from utah so it's about a three and a half hour drive. Not too bad, but and she likes the air conditioning. Yeah, and she has air conditioning. Then in the winter they that can was come one to of the bonuses morning. for this house. Yes, can I it say that? Air. Oh my gosh. Yes. So we've been hot this year, and I know. Yeah, it's been really hot everywhere, I guess. But yeah, hotter than usual. My electric bill, and I only have a swamp cooler, but my electric bill was a lot higher than it normally is because I don't normally the last few summers I've never ran the swamp cooler at night but I have had, had to run it at night because it's not cooling off it was staying in the hot 70s so you know so anyway. and our last little house our little house which it was little it was little but I mean we had shade trees but there was days when I got up to like 93 in the house because we didn't have air conditioning right. and we had a little portable little swamp cooler that we would take it was kind of in our bedroom. That was our cool room. <laughs> we aimed it in the bedroom and kept the fan on in there, and that stayed probably in the 80s in there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. this it's is a blessing rough. having it's air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, but so we'll try to do another one in two weeks, and and you know, we we told everyone we crochet, mm -hmm. we do Amber does a few I do some hats, hats. I do hats, but we've grown up crocheting, so to us crocheting is faster. And I may even venture out and try to get a simple pattern to crochet like a little baby dress or something. Just something. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, like I'm I sorry. Have, have the patience for that. Yeah. But I might try that, you know, just to see. <laughs> and hopefully goes. next time we do this, I'll have a finished hat and you'll have a finished scarf. Yes, so we can I show will you. have a finished scarf. Um, I'll probably finish that this weekend. Here. My hat would be finished, but I pulled it out on... Tuesday night, I pulled the whole thing out and started over. So and I'll probably be finished by tomorrow. So depending on how rehearsal goes tonight. But anyway, yeah. So so we will list all the people, the all about buttons and the um, all the different shops, all the different shops that we have bought from below. If you're interested, I would check them out. They're very reasonable. Um, you know, so if you're just getting in our stuff. Yeah, this is old. This is this Katya. is Katya, the Russian cat, a Russian blue. So. She's like, stop showing me off. But, yeah. She's in stuff, sorry. So yeah, so, so we'll list all that. We'll list our shops. We'll list those shops. Um, if you have any questions, please. Yes, and please, please comment. Ask them below. We, we, we have actually comments. Should, we actually should give anybody comments. An, an extra, extra entry. Entry in our drawing. On that video. On that video, we'll give an extra entry. On our giveaway video. Oh, on our giveaway video. Mm -hmm. But anyway, and if you if so, you want to see other things or have questions. Let us know. Uh, we can... We can research questions. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially for our all about knitting, because mm -hmm. I know uh, I had knitted all my life, but I knew nothing about wool yarn. 
until I got into this, the dyeing. And, and I'm still learning. And you're still learning. And, and just like, I love cotton, but to buy cotton and dye it, it's a much different process. It's different dyes mm -hmm. and everything. So it would be, and then cotton is not as economical. economical. People just don't, and people don't use cotton as much. Not as people, much. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, even I mean blankets. dish, dish, dish cloths. That's the or big dish, thing you see with cotton. Yeah. So otherwise, yeah, maybe a hat here and there, or maybe, a scarf. Yeah. I made a scarf last year, um, this year. So, but you know, so ask us questions. We love we questions. We are here. We like interaction. Yes. And if you follow us on Instagram, we do live videos every once in a while where you can ask us questions. Yeah, too. I did my first this time, <laughs> this week, telling you guys that we were gonna film this weekend. So to let you all know in advance. So, and yeah. please subscribe. We are, mm -hmm. and we try to keep our our shops. I don't know where the I mean, is. we try to keep our videos <laughs> around an hour. We're not gonna. I don't ever see us going into a two-hour video. We just don't Unless have we that had much. a really good week, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, or something that yeah. So maybe when we're showing off our Christmas stuff, because by next time I will have my Halloween die. Some of them die, and my Christmas, and she will have gotten her shop going. And I'm sorry, I I thought about making an extra fairy one this time to show you guys, but I'm sorry, I just didn't. And so if you want to see my fairy yarn, um, you have to join the club. You have to join the club <laughs> or... Um, do you show pictures on Instagram or do you... Well, I just did last week, I showed my fairy, uh, the Water Lilies fairy on my Instagram, so you can check that. And this week I will be showing the fairy court because everybody that was in my club has gotten their fairy court. And I'm trying to, I only started this a couple months ago, trying to take pictures of my yarn that is in my um, my clubs so that people can see the different ones and they've and only you have record of it too. And I have record so of it too. And I actually do the same thing twice. Which could happen, you know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But, but they, they all look different anyway. Yeah, so they look matter. different anyway. So yeah. anyway. But anyway, so that's our podcast and we really, really, really want to thank you for, for watching us and in, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And uh, we will try to answer all questions. So And hit the thumbs up button. Yes, please. please. We like the thumbs up. Yes, and hit the subscribe button. Every time so. you hit the thumbs up button, <laughs> an angel gets its wings. I don't know. It makes me happy. It makes us happy. Makes us happy. And all week long, we've been, I've been texting her. Oh, we've had we have twenty viewer or twenty subscribers and fifty views, and then so we're up to three hundred and sixty views on our last on our last and one, ninety yeah. some subscribers. So we're that two hundred and fifty is going to come fast. Yes, I bet we'll hit it by next time. I sure hope so. So that then we can the following podcast we can do a drawing <laughs> and let you know. My cat's got her head in the bag. I'm sorry. Get your head out of my bag. That's I'm how, sorry. That's how cats suffocate. That's how I get distracted. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cats are little children. Yes. <laughs> so in anyway. this bag. Okay. Anyway, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank and you. We'll see you next time. Bye, Have a guys. good day.